I'm doing this video because I've had a request for some help with cheese rudiments, flammed rolls, flammed fives, and uh, I thought I would put together this this little clip with uh, one of my favorite exercises, which will actually help with all those things, and also with a flammed released roll. So, first of all, what we need to do is make sure we're playing our flams correctly. When you play a flam, you want to go from the ready position, and the grace note should not be lifted, it should just be dropped. You should be able to just drop that note without lifting it. And then our flam would be played either from the playing height or from an accent height, the actual beat. But as I've described in other videos, it's not that you're going to play the grace note before the other note. If this starts here and this starts here and we just let them go, you'll get that nice flam without having to lift. So now we're going to do the flam act, four counts of flam accents. And we're just going to go ahead and put a drag on that first beat, which will be the cheese rudiment. The next time through, we do four flam, uh, flam accents again, and this time we do flam drags. The third time through, we do four flam accents again, but this time we put the drag on the third beat. And that one is setting you up for the flam uh, release of a roll. So if you're ending a roll and you end it with a flam, you get those three beats in a row with the opposite hand. So back to our exercise. So far, here's what we have. Now the fourth time through we're going to do flammed fives. And I am accenting the first beat of that roll. And then the last time through we're going to do tap flam five stroke rolls. And because we're running those together it ends up being the kind of roll where you have a flam on the release. All together, here we go. One, two, three, four. Let's try that a little faster. One, two, three, four. Now one time up a little faster. One, two, ready. That's a great exercise for developing those things. You've got to get those three notes in a row and, and with that last pattern. And this is just a great warm-up, too. It seems to really loosen you up. So give that a try. Work on it slowly, getting faster and faster. Make sure your stick heights are good. Make sure you have control, that you're not doing a lot of legato strokes. You're doing a lot of controlled strokes. And let's see where that goes. Have a great day.